Hey everyone, how's it going? I am here for another plan with me. I am planning for the month of June and I am back in my white paper notebook from Archer and Olive. I finally ran out of room in the craft notebook and so I'm returning to this notebook so that I don't waste it since I only did January in this white notebook. I'm really excited to start this month. I am doing a jellyfish theme and I thought I would go a little bit different with the colors. I did bring in a lot of blues, but I also brought in a lot of these purples um, and yellows and like a like a light yellow and a deep yellow. I also use this glittery metallic palette that is from Yasutomo. I got that on Amazon. I have all of that stuff linked in some affiliate links down below. I also brought in these Ecoline uh, watercolors. I haven't used those in a notebook before so I was really excited because I know that they're super vibrant so I definitely wanted to get a lot of really vibrant touches since I was going with this pastel -y metallic palette as well. So I am so excited to put all of these glittery touches in here. I will say that I tried my best to find some invisible ink. I went ahead and I had to order more, but it didn't get here in time for this plan with me. But I will do another video later where I add some um, invisible ink touches and look at it under a black light because of the, just the nature of the jellyfish I think that would be a lot of fun because that is just how the jellyfish is it has a lot of iridescent type um, elements to its body so anyway so I decided to do these large pops of yellow I think that oh god it is so stunning when you look at it but I went with a Dutch door for this cover page I just felt like I needed more cover page in my life you guys have known for the last couple months I have been trying to stress doing cover pages because they bring me so much joy and they are such a statement for starting the next month. I just love cover pages. So I mix them with some of this purple, some of the blue metallic, and then this really bright yellow from Ecoline. I use a lot of different fonts in this month, so I used just a very simple monoline font for the beginning, just because I thought the cover page spoke for itself <laughs> quite a bit, so I didn't really need to go overboard. Then I start with this little box jellyfish over on the side. I wasn't really getting enough of that silver vibe, so I went in later and I added way more silver to there. I do feel like I'm missing something on this cover page, maybe something at the top, so I might go back in and put another jelly in <laughs> at the top. I don't know. I, I'm still trying to play around with it and see what I want. Maybe I'll wait till I get some invisible ink and then have some like really cool invisible ink element in there as well. And then I did not wait long enough <laughs> for this uh, moon jellyfish to dry. I'm really kind of bummed out about that because I thought it was going to be a really cool effect, but it ended up feathering a lot. So I'm, I'm a little bummed out by that, but overall I think that this cover page, or this calendar page rather, uh, turned out pretty well. I really just enjoy the like deep pops of color from the purples and the yellows. I, I don't know, I, I really ended up liking it and I added a little bit more space to my calendar this time. I have five boxes across and three boxes tall? Three boxes tall, no, four boxes tall. I've been using my calendar so much more lately. Oh, and here you can see me adding in a bunch of that silver in as well. So I've been using my calendar a lot more, like actually writing on the calendar. That's not something that I ever really did before. I typically just use it as a reference point for my weeklies. But lately I've been using it 
especially for adding different elements, some really important things, and just being able to visualize my week with those super important things like live streams or uh, my video schedule and things like that. So that has been immensely helpful for me. I just decided to add a little drop shadow. I thought that that was a nice little element. And then I just felt like it was missing something. So I started doing some outlines and I think that really helped make all of these little jellies pop a little bit more. And I really enjoy how that ended up turning out. So at this point, the plan is that I am going to be quarantined for the rest of June um, and probably into July. I'm not quite sure. Obviously, there are a lot of factors at play when it comes to being able to return to work, but my pretty much my entire job can be done at home, so I, I don't think it's a super big deal for me. And my work is in New York City, which is um, an epicenter, so I would rather not return. So I decided to do this empty jellyfish, and I got a lot of inspiration from KirbyCatBujo.Bujo. I will link her Instagram down below. Um, I'm not sure if she's the, re the original artist, but that is where I saw this jellyfish and got a ton of inspiration. I tried to change it up just a little bit, and basically every stinger is going to be a different color, and every different element of this jellyfish is going to be a different color to represent my mood. And you can see the colors that I have on the side. Yellow for super happy, um, this lavender color for like ash, or and then the darker purple, like magenta e color, and that's gonna be for like bad moods. And then I decided, because why not, I decided to alternate the highlights. This is something that I was able to do a little bit in my craft notebook, but definitely not as much. So I'm excited to get back to doing a lot of these highlighting spreads. So I'm bringing back my daily summary page and this is mostly going to be basically a gratitude blog, but I think that it's, I, I've been missing my daily summary page and I think that things are starting to get a little bit more stable. So I'm hoping that it would be okay for me to start doing that again. The reason why I stopped is just because um, things were really depressing and I didn't want to remember things about those days. So I take that same design with the like weird ribbony type tentacles in the jellyfish and I apply that to this corner element on this order tracker. I've really needed to like bring my order tracker back. I've been getting a ton of orders. Thanks by the way for uh, supporting me. It means a lot to me. So I needed somewhere to just see all of my orders. I know I can do that on Etsy. I know I can do that on Shopify, but I really need like one place in where I can like tick things off as I go because some things I already have print and cut, some things I need to do as I go, uh, some stencils I don't make nearly as often as others. So I just need a nice place to be able to tick things off. And then I decided to do these darker lime weights for like separating out half a page and half a page because it's two sides of one tracker, if that makes any sense. So, and then I did the lighter lines down the middle. And then I just felt like it was missing something and I didn't think that it would really hinder my ability to fill this out. So I added in some black lines on those ribbons as well. I was gonna make this a two-page spread, but I didn't want to jinx myself in the amount of orders that I got, so 
I decided just to go with a quote page next to this. None of the other pages really seem to quite fit next to an order tracker. So I went with this quote page. I saw this online um, on some Google image and decided to go ahead and like letter this. And I just like every time I look up for quote pages, I just look up like sea turtle quotes or jellyfish quotes or something like that. And I really ended up liking this one. It says, it's okay to float along. It's okay to just be. So just an FYI, because I didn't do this, it's really helpful if you like erase some of what you've done, um, because once you put the watercolor over it, you can't really erase it. And I know that I know this, but I didn't do it anyways, and that was a little bit frustrating for me because now I see some of the pencil lines, but I've decided that it's okay because then I'm just like showing off my creative elements and my creativity and um, my practicing. So I don't know, that's how I'm deciding to look at it at this point in time because it was a bit frustrating that I kept forgetting to do that even though I've worked with watercolors a ton and I, I definitely know that that's what you should do. But no, I forgot. It's okay. So yeah, I just really like this. Quote, I thought it was really helpful and it made me feel better about like you know if this order tracker doesn't get totally filled out you know it's okay just to be and just to do what you can and honestly in this world right now it feels like we're all just kind of floating in some weird like like reality like it's kind of like very inception-y so, I don't know, I feel like we're all just kind of floating along waiting for more news and waiting for things to change, but they're just kind of not. So, uh, you know. I am bringing back my Peloton tracker yet again. It has been a staple for me ever since I got this thing. I have really enjoyed doing Peloton workouts. It really... It's so helpful that it's just in my living room and it's staring me down and I feel bad if I don't do anything. So um, yeah, it's been helping me work out quite a bit. I typically try to do four days a week. I think that is kind of working for me right now. I've just been pretty stressed, so it really depends on all the things that are going on like that I need time for because this is like you know 30 to 45 minutes of your day after you shower and that's 30 to 45 minutes that you can't get back so it's I've been trying to find a nice balance of like okay even though this takes 45 minutes that's 45 good minutes because then I'll be less stressed afterwards so I'm trying to remember that but it is very difficult to remember some things especially when it's like you know the, the workouts aren't easy you know I decided to do a like lettering type that I haven't done in a really long time I did this faux lettering and then I did some like stippling work inside of the letters I thought that that turned out really cool. I kind of wish I would have done that in a couple different other places, but I'm planning on bringing it back in my weeklies as well. I don't know why this made me think of jellyfish, but I, I don't know, the stippling made me think of it for some reason. And then I decided to use the tentacles as um, the boxes to track my Patreon and my brain dump sections. I was going to put habit trackers over here like I did last month but I realized that I I do need some more habit trackers um, I when I only have a couple it's very difficult for me to remember to go back to them so I have an entire page of habit trackers coming up so I included this area for patreon and a brain dump section now I bet you think I'm doing a cleaning tracker but you know what, psych, I'm not. I'm doing a pet care tracker. So I wanted to show you all how 
these trackers can be adapted to fit your life and not only like adapted by not doing a cleaning tracker but also adapted by adapting this stencil so you can see there's only one daily section but I'm able to move the tracker around and just get however many of each section that I need there's four weekly sections but I only ended up needing three so I just twisted and played with this tracker until I could um, piece together something that would work for me tracking my pet care. So I decided to do this just because there's a lot of things going on in, in my household and I really need like somewhere to put everything going on with the animals and when I need to get food because I keep forgetting to get food and Chewy takes longer so I need to remember a lot of different things so I decided to make this pet care tracker um, instead this month and I thought that that would be super helpful especially because that all of my animals do have a vet visit this month so I really really don't want to forget that because they all need their vaccinations <music> So I decided to color in, so you guys remember from last month that I colored it in with the stencil and then I did the outline and that didn't work super well. So I did the outline first and then colored in and that worked a lot, lot better. So I didn't use any watercolor on this page and man did those colors pop. I thought I was like in the middle of a Lakers game or something when I have finished it up here. So I have two different daily tasks. I have walking Malia and then brushing her because she is a husky and I'm not sure if any of you have ever lived with a husky or a dog with a an undercoat, but man, she sheds so much right now. So we definitely need to brush her every day with the Furminator, so I added that to my section. I also have three weekly tasks, disposing of the poop, so the litter boxes and the backyard, uh, bathing Malia, and then cutting her nails because her nails grow so fast, I don't even understand how. Then I also have three monthly sections as well, so I have uh, purchasing pet food so I do at least the cat food I have to do on a monthly basis and that is something that I keep forgetting to order so I because Chewy is taking a little bit longer these days I also have Malia's medication on there and then changing the crystal litter changing to crystal litter has been amazing I don't know if any of you ever have crystal litter or if you even care because you don't have cats but it doesn't clump so all you really have to do is stir the crystals and it works so much better and it lasts so much longer and it's not as smelly even though it's in our basement so I don't care a ton um, and it's just an easier cleanup overall so I highly recommend. So I decided to bring back some more lettering that I hadn't done in a while so I have pet care written out in my lettering and then I just do an outline as a shadow if that makes sense so the, it's not a like shadow in a normal sense all you have to do is like the outline of what a shadow should be and it ends up looking really cool so I'm I'm excited bringing back some of these lettering things I feel like I've gotten a little bit complacent in my lettering styles in my notebook just because I'm used to my lettering style so I don't know it, it's been nice switching things up so this is from my shop these little habit trackers are so great they are formatted for the month you're in so this is a Monday start and it is just the regular monoline uh, individual habit tracker and I'm just I love these little stickers it, it it saves me so much time they're super easy to use I really enjoy having these little habit trackers and when you order the month that lettered sticker for the month comes with it so I decided just to use it instead of 
putting June in my normal handwriting. I thought it would be fun just to use the sticker from the kit. And then I alternated the header styles so that, I don't know, it, it would bring some more fun elements. And this page is just so much color. I think this is my craziest spread. And then I was missing blue in these two spreads, so I decided just to bring in some long tentacles from a jellyfish for the rest of that habit tracker page. So here is the final flip through. I had to do this at night under the lights so that you guys could really see that glittery effect. Um, I was doing this at 1030 at night. It was very exhausting. But overall, I'm really um, excited about doing this jellyfish theme. Again, I really wish that I had that invisible ink, but I'm getting it later this week. So probably we'll have another video showing how I include some invisible ink in this spread just to make some things pop. And then I will definitely be including it on my weeklies as well. Thank you so much to everyone. Uh, thank you especially to my patrons for suggesting this theme. I really appreciate all of you so much. Um, if you are interested, I am having an early release over on Patreon. All you have to do is be a dollar member and then you get early access to all of the new releases that are going to be in June. So that is going on today as this video comes out. So go over to my Patreon if you are interested. And thank you to all the patrons listed here. I appreciate you all so much.